So I'm just going to say a very little bit about repeated measures data because this is a key area where mixed models are used, but I'm going to keep most of this for a few weeks and say a bit more when I sort of give a whole presentation on it. So repeated measures data is when you're taking repeated measurements on the same individual or the same item. For example, in this experiment, then there were repeated measurements taken on crabs and who were consuming different diets. So we want to take into account that we're measuring the same crabs, so these data are not independent at each time point. First of all, if we think about simple ways you might analyse that, you might say, well, OK, I'll try and get one measurement per individual, so um, we'll just these uh, sort of individual curves, each of these for each of the uh, three different treatments. You might say, well, I'll take the mean curve, the mean values across the curve or the area under the curve, which would be equivalent, or the maximum value, the time to reach the maximum value is sometimes taken, or I'll just say, well, that time point's or dilution here, sorry, is particularly important, I'll take that. So that's one approach, but it does avoid, omit a lot of the data. Sometimes people would just take all time points separately and adjust for multiple testing. That can get confusing if you've got a significant result at one time point, the next one's not significant, and then the next one after that is significant. It can be sort of, you think, well, what's that really telling us? Was that a genuine result, the fact this one in between wasn't significant? So that's a possibility, but not ideal. In some situations, you can use a fixed effects model. You could use a general linear model, but you need to be very careful that you're using the right sources of variability to make the comparisons. Some packages will do this for you, but it's important that the data are complete if you're going to do that. And usually a package that's attempting to fit a general linear model when the data are not complete will hopefully fail or give you a warning. So that's not really ideal either. What I'm going to suggest is the mixed model is suitable for, you can use it on either incomplete or complete data. And it has the advantage as well that you can allow for patterns of correlation between the measurements. So the model would look something like this with an optional interaction for that crab data. But you would definitely want to fit in a mixed model crab as a random effect. And it also offers, the, as I said, the um, option of having a pattern of correlation defined for the error terms. So observations closer together might be more highly correlated than other observations. And in fact, you could set it up to say observations that are more than sort of three time points apart are not correlated at all. Just to mention another alternative way of analysing repeated measures data, and this is particularly useful if you've got um, different time points for your measurements, is something called a random coefficient or random slopes model. So if you imagine each of these sort of colours represents maybe a different animal, you could fit this model, and that would involve fitting a common slope, so you'd fit your time effects as a fixed effect, and you'd fit the animal effect as random, so you'd have a different intercept for each of the animals, which is why the different slopes are at different levels. That's one way to fit a mixed model. But it might be the case that the slopes are varying randomly between the animals, in which case you could fit a different slope for each of the animals. And of course, you could fit that slope, which would be the animal by time effect, as fixed, but then that's treating all the animals as independent, and you really want to treat that as a source of variation, that the slope varies randomly between the animals, and that then allows you to assess this, the overall slope, the time effect, um, against a background of very random variation of the slopes between the animals, rather than having in fact, this solid line is the overall slope effect, rather than assuming that all these observations are kind of independent around it, it takes into account they've come from different animals and that each animal has its own slope, which is going to vary randomly around the overall average slope. So that's uh, another way mixed models can be used. It, the models are defined a bit differently than times defined as a continuous effect in the model, rather than here time would be defined as a category because there's fixed time points. 